Is it love? If it was, am I living it? Do I live in it? So astounding. Love is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste the sea. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather. Whether or never I ever understand, I'm a man in the hands of great plans. I stand with faith there in the life I never known to touch. And still I saw my clutch, but I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death.
Hi, my name is Jada, and you're watching Connect Church Pre-Rule Loop with some church announcements. Please do not go anywhere. We will start this service shortly. Don't go anywhere. You're right in the middle of our pre-service announcements. That's right. You're at the right place at the right time. Our service will be starting very shortly. Get yourself ready, grab your favorite cup of coffee, and we will get started shortly. We've got something for everybody throughout the week. We have ladies and men's meetings, kids, youth meetups, prayer meetings, all on Zoom and other digital platforms. we got something for you and your family. Contact us by email to get more information. in verse 42 reads and every day in the temple and from house to house they did not cease teaching and preaching that Christ is Jesus welcome to our connect church online service we are so happy that you are joining us here again today we want to extend a special welcome to everyone tuning in for the first time we have a great service prepared for you today please text guest at the number below or email us at info at connectedmonton.ca so we can send you our welcome package. Feel free to post your comments or chat with us during the service. Express your passion for the Lord in real time. Get comfortable, grab a coffee, and settle in as we worship together. I encourage you to stand up wherever you are and sing along with our worship team as we praise the Lord this day. But first, let me introduce to you our pastors, Ruth and Pedro Pires. Thank you, Suze. Good morning, Connect Church. What a day to get together to praise the Lord, love God the Father, and intercede for one another, our city, and our nation. That's right. This is a beautiful time to be the church. I know we are not meeting in the same place, but that does mean we stop being the church and doing church. Right now, at your place, as you are watching this service with your family members or even with friends, church is going on. Amen. This morning, as we worship together, we will have an opportunity to engage with the Spirit mm -hmm. of God. And as we come close to Him, the more we seek Him, the more we will behold Him, and the more we will become just like Him. Amen. So, wherever you are, I encourage you to engage with the presence of the Lord. Begin to ask Him to put His love inside of you. Ask Him to fill you up more and more. Ask Him to touch you and ask Him Ask Him to make you an imitator of Him because the only way we can change our outward circumstances is 
as we change our inward reality. This is the only way that the church can be the church if we become more and more like him. Amen. Let's pray and ask for mm. God's grace and favor upon all of us. Thank you, Father God, for one more day that you are giving us to celebrate you, to celebrate life, to celebrate your goodness and all of the blessings that we pour down over us every single day of our lives, Lord. Yes. We pray your blessings and your provision over every family as they are watching this online yes. service in their own houses. We pray blessings and ending over them. Yes, Lord. Meet their needs, Father. Yes. We pray for our nation, Canada. We pray for our leaders, Father. Yes. Make yourself known to them, Amen. Lord. We pray that they come to know you as their Lord and Savior, Father God. We pray also, Father, for the city where we live, Lord. Mm -hmm. Save people, save families, Lord. Yes, Lord. And bless Jesus us name, as we worship you in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 The Word of God says that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So right now, at your place, as you are watching this service with family or friends, there is freedom in your midst. So why don't you just stand up and let's sing along together with our worship team. Freedom.
Last Sunday, our Connect kids got to deliver cookies and a greeting card to every Connect family. They got so excited for the opportunity to create the cards and bake the cookies. Despite all of the rain, they were happy spending the afternoon bringing joy to our Connect families. If we did miss anyone, we do apologize. Please contact pa Pastor Pedro directly or email us at information at info at and we will gladly arrange a delivery for you. Hey people! Are you okay? Hi, Jess. Hey, Father Abraham. Hey, Megan. Tyler. Hey, buddy. Hi, Anna. Good. Hey, you guys. Are you guys hiding?
brought you a package. <laughs> You're welcome. We understand that so many families are having financial difficulties. We pray that you learn to trust in him for provision as well. We trust God all the time and in every situation. And we want to extend a heartfelt thank you for your generous financial support shown to our church during this season. If you feel compelled to financially support us, there are three ways that you can do so. By visiting www.connectedmonton.ca slash give and using the online giving system, or by e-transfer to info at connectedmonton.ca, and lastly, through the mail, by sending a check payable to Connect Edmonton to address P.O. Box 31024, Memeo Centre, Edmonton, Alberta, T5Z3P3. Twenty-nine times the book of Proverbs mentions the path or the paths we are on. And I would like to share some, just some, with you today. Let's start with Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 15. Solomon here is warning us about getting along with people with questionable, you know, morals and ethics. And he says, chapter 1, verse 15, My son, do not go along with them. Do not set foot on their paths. My friends, that's the path we don't want to take. But in Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 9, Solomon talks about following, you know, the way of the wisdom. And he says, Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. Friends, those are the paths that we want to take in life. Just a few weeks ago, we studied Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 6. And Solomon said in chapter 3 and verse 6, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. If you have been with us uh, all or most of this series on about the path, you know that the principles of the path are true in geography, but at the same time, they are true in all paths of life. And those principles are, first, uh, your direction determines your destination. That's the principle of the path. Your direction determines your destination. Not your intentions, not your dreams, not your wishes, but your direction determines, determines your destination. Another principle, it's the principle of the focus. Your attention determines your direction. That's why, you know, people, they shouldn't be driving a vehicle and be on the cell phone at the same time or texting. Why? Because, you know, they're going to lose attention on their path. That's why sometimes in front of you, a vehicle, you know, starts swerving from left to right, right to left, because people, they are not paying attention to their path. So your attention will determine your direction and your direction will determine your destination. Uh, mankind has known this for thousands of years because Solomon, it taught us uh, about this, you know, in the book of Proverbs. And uh, here, here it is, you know, the Solomon's statement, per se, about attention. If you will, please turn your Bibles into Proverbs chapter 4, verses 25, 26, and 27. And I'm going to ask Marco to read it for us. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 25, 26, and 27. Let your eyes look directly forward, and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. Thank you, Marco, for the reading of those verses in Proverbs chapter 4. 
And in other words, these verses, what it says is what captures our attention influences our direction. Attention, direction, destination. That's the principle of the path in three words. Attention, direction, destination. As your attention goes, your life goes. There are two verbs uh, that go along uh, in front of the word attention. One is capture, what capture our attention. Another one is grab, what grabs our attention. But friends, you and I, we do not have to be uh, ruled by things that grab or capture our attention. Another principle, it's the principle of choice. You get to choose what you give your attention to. You get to choose what you give your attention to. Which leads me to two other verbs I just want uh, to give you. Uh, besides grab attention and captures attention. You can choose to give your attention. You can choose to pay your attention. And there is a key. And here it is the key. Emotions tends to fool the things that grab or capture our attention and intentionally tends to fool what you pay and give attention to. So every path that leads to disaster or destruction, there is something powerful and emotionally engaging that grabbed our capture or captured our attention. Which is why Solomon awards, and let me read to you again what Mark already read, chapter 4, verses 25, 26, and 27. And it reads, Let your eyes look straight ahead, fix your gaze directly before you, make level paths for you, for your feet, and take only uh, ways that are firm. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. Make a choice. Choose which direction you will go and then fix your focus directly on it. What you give your attention determines your direction and your direction that you add in determines your destination. I want to ask you a sincere question. What has your attention these days? Is it a relationship, a career, a house? Is it a person who is leading you somewhere you don't really want to go or a person who is leading you towards where you do want to go? Is it your faith? Is it the, the pandemic? What has your attention these days? What captures or grabs your attention or what you choose to pay or give your attention to will determine your direction. And your direction will determine your destination. So here it is a second question. What do you want to have your attention? If you could only fix your eyes on one thing, what would it be? Five weeks into this series, and today I want to make you a suggestion. The Apostle Paul described his approach to life uh, this way, you know, when he wrote in Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Almost every book of the Bible is describing this same focused life in some way. The author to the book of Hebrews says in chapter 2 and verse 1, we must pay more careful attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. Some of you that are watching today drift away from your faith for a while and you wonder uh, how that happened. Well, it happened because of the principle of attention. Because your eyes, your attention falls something, something other, something else than God and you end up drifting away from God. So this same author to the Hebrews, he says, here's what you need to do to stay on the right path spiritually. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, 
and sat down at the right end of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. I like that verb fix. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Don't swerve to the right or to the left. Don't let your eyes wander. This is my suggestion for you, my friends. Don't let your heart uh, or your attention be captured by lesser things. Focus your attention on Jesus, on following him, getting to know him better, serve him fully and becoming like him more and more every day. Remember a few weeks ago when we learned what Proverbs 22 verse 3 says? The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. If you pursue anything less than Jesus, you may end up, you know, bowing your knees before him from a destination you never wanted to arrive at, uh, arrive at. Because the Bible says that one day every knee will bow before him. It doesn't matter what or where you will bow down before him. So you don't want to do that on a destination that we never intended to be there. Which is why the author to Hebrews says in chapter 12 and verse 2, fix your eyes on Jesus. You know, he is the path to heaven, the path to fulfillment. Jesus is the path to purpose, the path to where you want to go. That's why Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me, Jesus said. Another word for way is path. I am the way, Jesus said. I am the path to God, to heaven. You have a choice. You can follow Jesus or you can follow something less. You can let your attention be grabbed by something that feels good for a moment, or you can give your attention to the one who will direct you the, every single day of your life into eternity. Which will you choose today? Some of you have never chosen Jesus before. Maybe you would like to choose to fix your eyes on him today. Maybe you'd like to choose to start following him today. In just a minute. I'm going to lead you in a prayer that will change your eternity because it will change the path you are on, spiritually speaking. And I hope you will pray that prayer with me. And some of you already decided to follow Jesus a long time ago. And then you let uh, your attention be grabbed or captured by something or something else less than Jesus. Today is the day to correct that path. Don't you think? Today is the day to say Jesus is the Lord of, and is my Lord and my God. I will not longer have any other gods before him. Friends, if you want to follow Jesus, if you never surrender your life to him and want to do that today, I would like to ask you and encourage you to repeat after me a simple and short prayer saying, Jesus, I believe that you are the way, the truth, and the life. And I'm choosing to follow you today. I admit that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. Today, I confess my sins to you. And I'm inviting you to come into my life. If you pray this prayer, would you mind to let us know that you did it? We want to follow up with you, with you. We want to walk with you on this path. So please pay attention to some announcements later that Susie is going to bring. And you will know what to do so we can be in touch with you and follow up with you. If you already accepted Jesus, but because your attention was captured by something else and you turn your, uh, off your eyes from Jesus and you drift away from the, from the path, but today we recognize that you need to go back to follow him, I would like to encourage you to repeat this next prayer with me saying, Jesus, I know that you are the way, the truth and the life. But I haven't been walking your path recently. 
today I'm choosing to put you in my life first. I choose today to fix my eyes on you and follow you. I purpose want to walk your path again and I'm serious about it in Jesus name. Amen. The same way I would like to encourage you you know to pay attention to the announcements that Sue's going to bring in and you will know what to do so we can walk with you we can walk you know along with you as well i would like to give you some suggestions some next steps what to do now what's next for me well the first thing i would like to suggest you is come back next week next sunday morning at 10 a.m going to be the last message uh, uh, of this series the path so one more week to go more things that we're going to learn okay so and we're going to learn things are very important you know keep going on our path do you know that sometimes you are on a path on a way our way and there is a sign that says road closed right so we need to pay attention to those signs and we're going to see something about that next week please come back tune in next sunday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, on Facebook, YouTube channel, or at uh, on our website. Another thing that I would like to suggest you today is fix your eyes on Jesus. When you get up, you know, each day this week, talk to him. Spend a few minutes along with him, you know. Uh, why not, you know, reading the book of Proverbs? You're going to see there's so much wisdom, you know, for your daily life. Or some other scripture, you know, grab a devotional, go to the U version, you know, Bible and uh, just, you know, grab a, a, a devotional plan and read it. You need to know him because that's the only way to walk straight with him. It's when we know him and we know what he has for us. I pray that we will keep going with him, along with him, because the end of this path with Jesus ends up in heaven and that's where we want to be we want to be for the all eternity with him so please friends let's walk together on this path that leads into heaven into eternity with god forever we pray that you've made the choice to follow jesus today trusting in the lord at all times and letting him direct your path for more information on how to walk this new path with god or if you want to know more about his amazing love for you Fill out our digital connect card by going to our website. On the menu, go to contact us, then connect. We want to follow up with you and walk together with you. If you have any prayer requests in the same contact us section, we have a prayer request card that you can fill out and our prayer team will be praying for you. Before we share some announcements, let's praise together with another worship song. Once again, I encourage you to stand up, feel free to dance, shout, clap your hands as we pray the same.
Sunday at 11 a.m. our Connect Kids get together using a safe online platform to stay connected. Join us for a good time together where we worship, learn about Jesus and his purpose for you, play games and do crafts too. See you there! Wednesday we will have a prayer meeting on Zoom and Facebook Live at 7.30 p.m. But today, after the service, we will be having an open Zoom lobby. Join us and chat with other members of our Connect family. The Zoom links are in the description of this video. We were so blessed to have you with us today, and we'll be back again Sunday at 10 a.m. for another church at home experience. But next Sunday, we will be hosting a Father's Day drive-in. We'll be meeting at the Manning Town Center Cineplex parking lot. We'll have donuts, coffee, and a photo booth. So kids, this is your chance to dress like your dad and take some memorable family photos. Everyone is welcome. But before we go, don't forget to connect with someone during this week. Make a call, send a message, or even better, make a video call. As restrictions start lifting, I encourage you to lift others' hearts. We are together in this. Have a great Sunday and a blessed week.